Hi, this is Roxana for Avid Diva. Today is day 49 of the 100 day challenge. I am going to make this a very short video. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't lose continuity. Today is Self Care Tuesday and my message for you is about cleaning your space. Now you might ask what does cleaning your space have to do with self care? And I'm not talking about the psychological effect of seeing a space screen, uh, clean or anything like that. Um, my family member is in a rehabilitation center to relearn to walk. I don't know if I explained this to you guys before, but when they go to the hospital, I think I did, when they go to the hospital, for every day that they're in the hospital, they lose a week. And so the average person that goes to a hospital for five days basically backtracks five weeks in knowledge and everything else. Now she has her moments when she eats and she without assistance and she will get up and the nurses will find her running all over the place. But, um, I mean, not running, but you know what I mean, um, moving where she's not supposed to be. But more often than not, it's very hard for them to f remember how to walk and all this other stuff. So the idea behind rehab is that they relearn all the skills that they have lost through the power of repetition. Now, just like a kid, the more you repeat stuff, the more they're supposed to um, retain. It doesn't always work, but I have seen some progress, so I am liking what I see. And going back to the thing about um, cleaning up your space, because we're getting at a point where she's been there for about two weeks and we are hoping that she will come home soon, um, we started cleaning up and moving furniture around. We There was an old piece of furniture in her room. We decided to take that out. And then we have a little, um, not a loft seat, but a one-seater type sofa that um, we put in her room so that if anybody has to stay there during the night watching her or whatever, they can. If she doesn't feel comfortable, they, uh, somebody can stay with her and that sort of thing. And um, there was a chair that we have purchased that is um, basically, you, she seats you for you. Um, the, the cushion comes up and lifts enough so that halfway down her tush, can just let the, the, the machine sit her back down. Um, it's a really hard, sturdy uh, piece of furniture, so hopefully it will last a long time. We were putting all these things together, and in the process of putting these things together, we got rid of about, hmm, between recycling and throwing away and moving things around and take, getting rid of things, we got rid of about six boxes of trash or six bags of trash, I should say. And it wasn't psychological, oh, look at the space or anything, because this is still very messy. It was about the feeling of accomplishment more than anything else, number one. Number two, the more stuff you have in the house, the more dust accumulates, and if you're like me, I look at dust and it makes me sneeze. So having a, a cleaner space definitely improved my sinuses and number three um my feet welcome the ability to be able to walk through the floor and not hit something because when you have a lot of boxes a lot of stuff on the floor you tend to stub your toe a lot and on an average day I probably stub my toe twice in this house every day so and don't ask me if they're broken or not because to be honest with you I have no idea but that those th those are the three things. The, the the three main things are the feeling feeling of accomplishment, the limitation on dust, and the less stuff in the, around the floor to hit your flo uh, foot with. And and there's obviously psychological advantages to having a cleaner space and having a more organized space and whatnot. I'm not even gonna go into that because everybody talks about that. It's just it it it, it lets you breathe better literally and, and and mentally too so what other effects do you think having a cleaner and more organized space have in your health i would love to hear the comments below and as usual if you want to ask a question or talk about something just leave me a message i'll be more than happy to answer like i said this is roxana for avid diva today's day 49 of the 100 day challenge you have a wonderful day